<laughs> Hi, I'm Brian, and I'm a teacher. Well, I was talking to one of my classes. I was encouraging them to, to not give up, to keep their head up, to keep striving to do good even when others doubt you. I wanted them to understand that if you don't look up, you won't see the amazing blessings right in front of you. In the midst of the talk, I, I randomly busted out an illustration about a young explorer that didn't see the uh, unicorn that he'd been looking for for his entire life. Yes, uh, a unicorn uh, off the top of my head. And, and uh, the thing was that even though the unicorn had danced right in front of, of him, the kid didn't look up. After that, I decided to use the same unicorn illustration in all of my classes. And they really responded to it. After a few days, uh, I sat down and I actually wrote uh, a story entitled, That's Not a Unicorn. I know it sounds like a children's book, right? Well, that's because it is. Let's be honest, we've all learned some pretty important lessons, some great life lessons from children's stories. So I read the story to my daughters, and they loved it. And then I read it to my students, and they loved it too. And in fact, they started drawing pictures for it. And then we came up with the idea that we were actually going to make a published book based on That's Not a Unicorn and the adventures of our young explorer who just wouldn't give up. It's a pretty cool story about a boy who has to go live with his grandparents and his only friend is his grandpa's dog. But when his grandpa doesn't take uh, kindly to the boy's imagination, he tells the boy that unicorns don't exist and the boy decides to set out to prove him wrong. On all of his adventures, he runs into things like a, a Yeti and a Loch Ness Monster and even a Jackalope, but Grandpa just tells him that's not a unicorn, and the boy keeps searching, and, and then one day he comes to a place where he's kind of ready to give up, and in that moment, he has his head down, and the unicorn comes prancing through the field. And is he going to miss the blessing that's right in front of him because he was feeling defeated and let other people's words get destroy his dreams? Well, that's kind of what that's not a unicorn is about. And my students have put in a lot of hard work and effort into producing these pictures and getting this project together. And in fact, it is a dream, my dream, that I, at the end of this project, we have raised enough money to put a hard-bound edition of That's Not a Unicorn, the illustrated book, into the hands of every student that contributed. And I don't know about you, but it's just an amazing thing to think that a student would receive a book that they contributed to with their name in it as one of the illustrators. It's kind of one of those things about how we can teach everyone to not give up on their dreams and to not get discouraged and to keep looking up, even if you're just looking for a unicorn. Because, I mean, everyone's going to face doubters in life. But I hope that you will help me show my students that they shouldn't give up and they should pursue their dreams. I really appreciate uh, you taking the time to watch this video and I hope that you will feel moved or inspired to actually donate to this project and help it really just come to life because it's already started to make such a big difference in just my own life and the life of my students. That's not a unicorn! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs>